It's Saturday, 22nd September, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Former French President François Hollande has claimed that the Indian government suggested industrialist Anil Ambani's company as the offset partner for the 7.87 billion euro deal to purchase 36 Rafale fighter jets. Mr. Hollande was the French president at the time the deal was agreed to in 2015. He told the French news media outlet Mediapart.fr on Friday that his government didn't have a choice in the selection of Reliance Defence, the company owned by Mr. Ambani. It is the Indian government which has proposed this service group and it is the SOL that has negotiated with Ambani. We didn't have a choice. We took the interlocutor that was given to us, he was quoted saying. Responding to Mr. Hollande's comments, the Defence Ministry tweeted that the statement was being verified. It reiterated that neither the Government of India nor the French Government had any say in the commercial decision, the Ministry said in a tweet. In a recent interview, Ms. Sita Raman denied any Government role in the choice of offset partner in the Rafal deal. By leveling baseless corruption charges against the AIADMK government, opposition leader MK Stalin is lying every day, Chief Minister Adipari K. Palni Sami has alleged. Addressing party cadre as Srinivasanagar in Palayam Kote on Friday, before heading to Nagar Koyal to participate in former Chief Minister M. G. Ramachandran's birth centenary celebrations, Mr. Palni Sami said the AIADMK, which belied the expectations of the opposition parties after the demise of then Chief Minister Jayalalita, has become stronger as it was the party for and of the common man, while the DMK had become a tool for the welfare of a particular family. Opposition leader M.K. Stalin, who had become the DMK chief after the demise of his father M. Karnanidhi, would pass on the baton to his son Udayanidhi and then his grandson would become the DMK chief, he said. However, I, as the son of an ordinary farmer, have become the chief minister of Tamil Nadu and this is possible only in the AIA DMK, where the hard-working cadre's contributions will be rightly remembered and rewarded, Mr. Palni Sami said. After three days of interrogation that exceeded over 23 hours, the special investigation team probing the alleged rape of a nun belonging to the Missionaries of Jesus Congregation on Friday arrested Jalandar Bishop Franco Molakal accused of the crime. The bishop was taken in a police vehicle to the Tripanathura Taluk Hospital for medical examination. He would be presented before the Magistrate Court, Pala, in Kotiam district on Saturday. The police have decided to seek three days custody for further interrogation. Kotayam SP Hari Shankal told reporters that the arrest came after it was established that the rape charge was reasonably true. The bishop has been charged under four counts including rape, illegal confinement and criminal intimidation. The contention of the accused that the allegation against him was the outcome of a conspiracy had collapsed in the face of the evidence collected by the police and the information gathered after questioning. The traffic police in Chennai are adopting a novel measure to ensure that the younger generation strictly adheres to the helmet rule. They've been taking students to Rajiv Gandhi Government General Hospital to show them the emergency room and the seriousness of injuries caused by road accidents. Over the last few weeks, they've taken students of MGR Janaki College for Women and Vivekananda College to the hospital. Initially, we contacted two colleges. They were taken in buses to the emergency orthopedic and neurology departments. The doctors also explained how not wearing helmets can cripple one's life, said K. Yuvraj, Assistant Commissioner, Traffic Investigation East. 
G. Damodaran, Assistant Professor, Tamil and NSS Program Officer, RKM Vivekananda College said, Such methods are better than just advising the students. They were happy to interact with the police commissioner, he said. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from three metros. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 85.59 rupees per litre and diesel for 78.11 rupees per litre. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 82.32 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.87 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 89.69 rupees per litre and diesel for 78.42 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 84.16 rupees per litre and diesel for 75.72 rupees per litre.